Oh well, guys, um, let's sketch the parameter graphs for these two functions in this video. So to sketch the first graph, let's first make a table with columns t, x, and y. I'm going to assume that we don't know any other approach how to sketch the graph. Uh, uh, and we just going to do this by sketching the graph points by points. This equation is called parametric equation because you can see that your x depends on some variable t and y also depend on this variable t. And difference from the Cartesian one, where my variable y is actually depends on variable x. So if you start with Cartesian equation and you want to obtain a parametric one, what do you need to do? You just need to take your variable x and assign this variable x as some function of t. Or I can just say it like x is equal to t and then your y is going to be equal to f of t. So just a short reminder, what is the difference between parametric equations and Cartesian equations? But let's sketch our graph. So here we can see that my t changes from negative two to two. So what I would love to do, I would love to take a good values of t, which are negative two, negative one, zero, one, and two, and sketch them in Cartesian coordinates x, y. So let's first uh, evaluate uh, expression x and y when t is equal to zero. So you can check if you're gonna plug in t is equal to zero to your x and to your y, then you will get that your x is going to be equal to zero and your y is going to be equal to two. Okay, let's do careful computation when t is equal to negative one. So when t is equal to negative one, I need to evaluate x of negative one and y of negative one. So in my first case, I will get negative one minus one. And for y, I will have negative one squared plus two. So for the x, I will get negative two. And for the y, I will get uh, three. Using the same computation, you can fill in the rest of uh, this table. And you can check that we're going to obtain the following values. For negative two, I'll have negative uh, 10 and six. For one, we're going to obtain two and three. And for two, we're going to obtain 10 and six. So we can see that our graph is actually going to be pretty symmetric related to, uh, how do you say, like value t is equal to zero. So let's sketch our graph. So when t is equal to zero, we'll have zero and two. So it's going to be my origin zero, zero, and I will decay two over here. And let's name as a point A, B, C, D, and E. So we can see here we uh, sketch the point C. Okay, let's find point B when t is equal to negative one. I will have x is equal to negative two and y is equal to three. So I'm going to have a point somewhere here. This is point B. For point A, I will have x is equal to negative 10 and y is equal to six. So six, if this is three, the six is going to be somewhere here. And negative 10 is going to be, if this is my uh, negative two, the negative 10 is going to be somewhere here. So I will have the point A over here. Just remember, this is my point C. And then point D and E, since you can see our y output are going to be the same and your x input only different by sign, it means I can just take these points and reflect along y-axis. So that's why I'm going to get for this point two, this is my point D. And then for this point over here is going to be my point E. And then by sketching it carefully, I'm going to get this graph. Uh, actually, it means it's gonna look something like this. And the last part, what do we need to do? We need to indicate the direction. But since this point A works when t is equal to negative two, point C is when t is equal to zero, and point E when t is equal to two, and direction is uh, goes in a positive change of t. So direction of my curve is going to go from point A to point E. Okay, and let's sketch the second graph. So here I'm, I, I'm also going to have t, x, and y. 
with my inputs negative 2, negative 1, 0, 1, and 2. My Cartesian coordinates x and y and the inputs. So uh, again, like I'm sketching this graph number four over here. When t is equal to zero, I'm going to have just uh, x is going to be equal to one and y is equal to one. When t is equal to negative one, I will have e minus one and e inverse plus one. And when t is equal to negative two, I'll have e squared uh, minus two. And I'm going to have e to the negative two uh, plus two. And since uh, if I'm going to just change my t from ne negative to positive, I will have here e of negative one uh, plus one. And here e to the power of one minus one. And for the second one, I will have e of negative 2 uh, plus 2 and e of squared minus 2. By using calculator we can compute that e to the power of 2 minus uh, 2 is going to be approximately 5.4 and e minus 1 is going to be approximately uh, 1.7. e to the power of negative 2 plus 2 is going to be approximately 2.4 one and e to the power of negative one plus one is going to be approximately 1.3. So finally, let's indicate our grid. So we're going to have one, two, three, four, five, six, and one, two, three, four, five, six. And then we can see our first point is going to be one, one here. Then uh, for t is equal to negative one, we'll have 1.7, 1.3. So 1.7, 1.3 is somewhere here. And then for point T is equal to negative two, I'm going to have 5.4, uh, 2.1. So 5.4, 2.1 is going to be somewhere here. And then for T is equal to one, I will have 1.3, 1.7. So it's going to be approximately somewhere here. And for the point T is equal to two, 2.1, 5.4. So 2.1, 5.4. Is going to be approximately somewhere here. So we can see that my graph is going to look something like this. Where again, if it's going to be my point A, B, C, D, and E, I will have a prox actually this is my point A, B, C, D, and E. And since point A indicates uh, uh, point, point A goes for t is equal to negative two, and point E is when t is equal to two, then my direction is going to go from the point A to the point E. So this is going to be the direction of my parametric curve. Okay, so as a summary, to sketch the parametric curve, we need to indicate the initial point, ending point, and of course, the direction. Okay, guys, thank you for watching. Let me know if you have any questions. And if you're not subscribed to my channel, please subscribe and have a nice day. Bye.